Is Tactical X Abs Stimulator a waste of money? Or does it really melt fat like butter? What's up guys, Alec on Kiri here. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about the Tactical X Abs Stimulator. Cause these guys are going hard in the paint, man. Look at this. They have been absolutely inundating me with ads for their product for weeks now. Just absolutely jamming them down my throat, trying to convince me to purchase this thing. And if there's one thing that leaves a sour taste in my mouth, it is relentless, unabating ad campaign. Something that many of you fitness influencers love to do here on YouTube and Instagram, just trying to jam your junk down my throat. But alas, if you're gonna hammer me with ads relentlessly, then I'm going to say what I really think of your product. I'm not going to buy it, but I am gonna tell my audience what I think about it. Today I wanna to review the manufacturer's claims of Tactical x -Ab Stimulator and how the product is being marketed. Then we'll go over some of the actual science and proven medical uses of electrical muscle stimulation and compare that against those claims. And then we will compare reviews of Tactical x -Abs on their website against reviews from Google that are more likely to be legitimate and see how those stack up against each other. And then we will close video with some of my own thoughts. So what is Tactical X Abs Stimulator? <laughs> keep having to say it, it's making me laugh. It is an electrical muscle stimulating device that's designed to be worn on the abdominal muscles and it produces small electrical impulses that elicit involuntary muscle contraction. Basically you put it on your stomach, it shocks you and your abs contract. Ta-da! End of story. And this concept is nothing new. Over-the-counter EMS devices such as the Relaxicizer have been available in the US since the 1950s. And these devices often make a whole host of different claims about what kind of black magic they're gonna help you potentially be able to accomplish. Usually, at least these days, those things involve getting jacked and getting shredded, right? So in today's video, I wanna analyze the Tactical x -Ab Stimulator <laughs> because this product is being marketed incredibly heavily. Right, I've been getting ads every freaking day. I even got two ads in a row for the same damn product at one point. And some of the claims that I've seen coming from these people are pretty freaking wild. Things like, this device melts fat like butter. Emulate 50,000 crunches in 20 minutes with this new military invention. This fat melting military device will change your life. Groundbreaking military invention turns men into beasts. Men 40 plus are getting ripped thanks to this new military device. Incredible military invention turns men 40 plus into beasts. New mil military invention melts fat like butter. And the list goes on and on. These guys are leaning really heavily on the concept of this thing being a new military invention in order to presumably give it more credibility and an air of mystique about it, even though this concept has been around for nearly a century. They're showing us pictures of these big muscular guys with shredded abs and prom promising us that we can look like these badass soldiers in just a few weeks time. And we don't even have to work for it, man. And they're making some very, very strong, bold claims about Tactical X abs being both a fat burning tool as well as a muscle building tool. Sit on your ass, push this button, and you'll get jacked and peeled in just a few weeks, man. And I bet the guys in the ads aren't even real soldiers. So those are some of the bold marketing claims from the manufacturer of Tactical x -Abs. But what does the actual science regarding EMS, electrical muscle stimulation, say? Now there are legitimate uses for EMS therapy and the FDA has approved many of these devices for prescription use in medical settings as well, such as rehab centers. But the proven uses for these products seem to mostly be relegated to the realm of people who are injured, sick, experiencing muscle wasting disease, or who are incapacitated in some way, not generally healthy people, right? People who are already less 
physically active than they otherwise could be or should be simply because they have no choice in the matter. So for example, I ran across a study that showed promise for EMS therapy improving balance in elderly patients who have dementia. So these are people who are not going to be very mobile at all, and they're going to be able to gain some benefit from EMS. And that makes sense when you stop and think about it. And that is also freaking awesome. In rehab settings, after injury or after surgery, the muscle stimulation from the electrical current can help to maintain strength and prevent atrophy in muscles that are currently in disuse. In stroke victims, it can help with muscular re-education, basically getting the nervous system to start firing again, right? Stroke fucks with your brain, it fucks with the nervous system. It fucks with the connection between your brain and its ability to turn the muscles on. And you can use these electrical stimulatory devices to crank that back up and get it going again, hopefully. But as the FDA says, the effect of using these devices is primarily to help a patient recover from impaired muscle function due to a medical condition, not to increase muscle size enough to affect appearance. Further, using these devices alone will not give you six pack abs like these manufacturer here is claiming. Applying electrical current to muscles may cause muscles to contract. Stimulating muscles repeatedly with electricity may eventually result in muscles that are strengthened and toned to some extent, but will not create a major change in your appearance without the addition of diet and regular exercise. I also think it's important to note that just because a muscle is contracting does not mean that there is any real stimulus for real change being provided to that muscle. I can sit here and squeeze my abs all day long or flex my biceps as hard as possible all day long, but that will actually do very, very little for making these muscles bigger and stronger in the long run, and it will do absolutely nothing in terms of burning body fat. No matter how hard that I sit here and squeeze my abs all day long, I cannot magically make the fat melt away from on top of them. A 2002 study on electrical muscle stimulation already demonstrated this, with the authors stating, quote, EMS had no significant effect on any of the measured parameters. Thus, claims relative to the effectiveness of EMS for the apparently healthy individual are not supported by the findings of this study." End quote. Basically, the EMS therapy in this study did nothing here for healthy individuals. It did not help the test subjects build any muscle, didn't help them burn any body fat, didn't help them increase the size of their biceps, triceps, quads, or hamstrings, all the muscle groups that they measured, and it did not improve their appearance in any way either. Basically, EMS alone did absolutely nothing for people who were not sick or injured. A more recent study published in 2023 used EMS therapy in conjunction with strength training, which is a better idea in my opinion. Now in this study, the authors talk about how they believe that there can be benefit to using EMS therapy in conjunction with resistance training and with other forms of exercise because EMS muscle contractions, according to the authors, EMS muscle contractions can potentially differ from voluntary muscle contractions because they, according to the authors, reverse the size principle. Don't ask me how, this is what they're claiming. But basically, the size principle states that when we flex our muscles voluntarily, voluntarily, motor units are recruited sequentially from smallest to largest, right? So your body will only recruit the largest muscle fibers that are required to get the job done. So if you're only lifting something very light or you're not coming close to failure when you're working out, then your body will never recruit any of the large muscles to do the work that you're asking it to do. It will only rely on the smaller muscles, the only ones that are required to be recruited in order to get the job done. That is the size principle. And what the authors here are claiming is that with EMS, the order is actually reversed and that the largest motor units are actually recruited first when a muscle is contracted via EMS. So it reverses the size principle. And the authors postulated that this would be beneficial when you combine it with regular exercise where the size principle still applies. Ultimately, however, 
The only st statistically significant difference that the authors found in their study between the uh, EMS plus strength training group versus the strength training only group was a slight improvement in contracted core muscle thickness of all the things that they measured not even relaxed core muscle thickness but only when you were flexing your abdominal muscles that was the only thing that they found any statistically significant difference in of all the other things that they measured they measured several other muscle groups i believe and they measured body composition and they measured strength and there were no significant differences between the two groups in any of the other parameters that they checked the authors themselves note Quote, it is reasonable to think that EMS should not be regarded as a replacement for conventional exercise training per se, since the exercise itself enhances not only muscle function, but also exerts positive effects on endothelial function, cardiopulmonary fitness, and cognitive function, things that EMS cannot do. So even in this study where the authors are kind of, if you read it, if you actually read their, their conclusion, they seem to actually be in favor of the EMS, which I still, based on their results, think it's silly. But even in spite of that, these results were not earth shattering at all. The addition of the EMS did very, very little to bolster the benefits of the resistance training. There were no significant improvements in strength, muscularity, or body composition, not in any of the studies that I looked at. So it would seem that the actual science here regarding EMS does not really align with the claims that we're seeing from the manufacturer of Tactical X abs. So with that then, let's take a look at some of the reviews from people on their website who have purchased the product and compare that against some Google reviews. Now on their website, we see things like, very good device. As soon as I put it on my abs, I could feel it working. I received mine last week and I can see some results already. Would recommend to anyone. The truth is, I felt it working as soon as I attached it to my stomach, arms, and legs. I instantly felt it working my muscles. Slightly strange feeling at first, but I love mine. Thanks. I mean, that would be the point, wouldn't it? I, I would at the very least hope that the stimulatory effect here would be sufficient to make the muscles actually contract. Otherwise, what's the point? Either way, this really speaks nothing to the actual efficacy of the product or even any of the claims that the manufacturers themselves make about what it can do. So these verified customers are very happy with their purchases. Five stars across the board, heaps of praise across the board. So let's compare those reviews on their website to some of the Google reviews. And there are only seven reviews on Google, so it's not really much to work with. But let's just take a look at them real quick. And that is a big yikes for me. 1.7 stars, and that's literally only even that high because some random person who didn't even have any words to add to their review and has never left any other reviews gave the product five stars for some reason, but everyone else left one star and then one other person left two stars. And in total, all those other people had some pretty negative things to say about the product. So it would seem like the reviews on their website are quite vastly different from the reviews that we can find on Google. Now, none of this is to say that Google reviews are some kind of panacea for product reviews or anything like that. I've seen some pretty dumb shit on Google. And personally, I've actually had people who have never even bought any products from me try to leave me negative reviews on Google, which is just about as lame of a thing as a person can do. So it's not a fail safe system by any means, but still the polarizing disparity between the reviews on their website versus the reviews on Google should probably raise some red flags. All right, this video has gone on long enough, so let's wrap things up now with some of my thoughts. So, what do I think about Tactical X Ab Stimulator, in case you can't already tell? Well, when people start making wild and outrageous claims, like you can become a super soldier, jacked and shredded without having to lift a finger, or I guess in, that, in this case, that's literally all they're telling you you have to do is lift a finger to push the button to turn the machine on, and they incessantly invoke imagery of secretive and powerful institutions like the military in order to convince you that they've created some sort of groundbreaking product that bypasses human physiology using technology that's been around forever, even though they're pretending it's new. That's usually when my bullshit detector starts to go off. 
shit like this pops up in my feed and honestly I just roll my fucking eyes man <laughs> your ads annoy me get them out of my feed there are no shortcuts people there is only busting your ass and then busting your ass harder and doing that over and over and over again for years on end that is the path to getting jacked and swole and shredded the military doesn't have any secret magical pill besides steroids or super soldier serum or electrical shocking nodules that you can jam up your asshole and will turn you into a freaking super soldier if they did Every single guy who was in the military would actually be jacked, and they aren't. So my opinion is, don't waste your fucking money. These products have been around for damn near a century now. And in all that time, nobody has gotten jacked and shredded without having to earn it yet. As much as these people want you to think that you don't have to earn it, that's not the way it goes, man. If it was that simple, everyone would look like the guys in their ads, and hardly anyone does, right? And when tactical X abs fades away in a few months or a few years or a few weeks or a few days, then the next new EMS device promising to melt the fat off like butter and make you jacked and tan and wealthy and make all your dreams come true will pop up to replace it. And I'm out here right now telling you not to buy that product either. If you are healthy, these products do just a little bit more than absolutely nothing at all. And in my opinion, even that claim is a little bit dubious. Save the EMS for when you are recovering from surgery or sickness or injury or when you're fucking 90 years old and your therapist or doctor prescribes it and implements it for you. Now, if you want to follow a proven path to getting jacked and building muscle and building strength beyond what you ever thought possible, then check out the programs on my website. I'm GearEliteFitness.com. My programs are not a magic bullet, right? I would never claim otherwise, and they can't do the work for you, but they will certainly set you on the right path to maximizing your long-term potential in the weight room, guys. Please remember to smash the like button before you go. Leave me a friendly comment down below and share the video around to help spread the good word and save a friend or a brother in iron from wasting their hard-earned money, guys. Keep training hard, and I will catch you guys next time.